Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the farm. This is Lisa and today we're going to be reviewing a cool gadget. So the good folks over at Saker reached out to us and asked us if we would like to review their cordless four inch chainsaw. And we said, sure, because I love gadgets. So let me show you what's going on. I've already unboxed it, but I have to tell you, it came with everything you need to get started. And so everything was packed beautifully in this box. And it was also uh, shrink wrapped with plastic. And then it came in another shipping box. Really, really cool. Comes with oil, instructions and precautionary warnings, a screwdriver, and also a socket wrench. A charger for the battery that has a light on it tells you when it's charged and of course the mini chainsaw you can tell that I've already used it because like I said we unboxed it and used it last weekend to see how it worked so we can do the appropriate and honest review of what's going on with this product so let me show you a little bit about what we did with it and we're not fancy here we just show you like it is so come on along Cuts right through it. Especially with the pine trees, they all tend to die lower down. Yeah. And so we're often doing this to begin with. And that makes it easier if you have to use a regular chain to let it drop them. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty handy. I was going to say get them low so we can drive in. Certainly seems to make quick work of it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, because you can see we've cleared a lot of the little ones out, except for right here. That's the whole charge. 
and that's with a full charge and it's still going. Um, but we have to keep on top of this because we have to keep the trees down because it's just way too many trees. And as you can see, even though they're beautiful, they're in the way and they cause a lot of issues. So works really good. So tell me what you thought. Can't stop cutting. Works good. I mean, for a small little compact machine, that was on a full charge. So seems like quite a bit. Yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think it's great because you don't have to pull out a large chainsaw. Yeah, if you want to come through in lemon area. This would be uh, this would be another great tool when we go uh, for riding a buggy and stuff. If there's brush or something or you know, grown in area or something, you can cut it instead of driving over it. That's a really good point. A small, you're not good massive trees, but you know stuff that's overhanging like this one. Yeah, on the trails. In the trail, you may be able to cut it out of the way. That's awesome. So we just cleared that whole area in minutes. And here's the pile, which is one of our brush piles. And the reason why it was so helpful is because we can drive down here with the buggy and haul brush down. So. I think Ryan loves the thing so much he's out there to cut some more down. Cut that uh, dead one down. Another thing we have a ton of are these junipers and when they're in our way, we try to get rid of them. Plus we've had to cut them out of the pig pastures. Oh, works nice. In the past we've used a tractor to try and uproot them and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't completely. One piece of feedback that I would like to say is I feel this handle it's just a guard but you can see how flexible it is I think it needs to be a little more rigid um, it could break so to be totally transparent I just think that's a little flimsy the rest of it I think is really well made well constructed it has the strap as well but again this is just a guard but i just feel it's really kind of flimsy and i think it could be made out of harder plastic or maybe some lightweight aluminum um, because i could see that breaking off possibly so let me just say we cut down a lot more stuff after that video obviously i'm not going to show it all to you because you don't have all day to be watching this but the reality of it is, is all power tools require safety equipment. All power tools need to be respected. So please be careful when you're operating tools like this. Um, I think for us, the really nice thing about it was not having to pull out the large chainsaw for the stuff that we had to do, which allowed us to just be able to cut, put it in a pile and be done. So I'm going to tell you this. It's all about convenience. We are just absolutely thrilled at the convenience of this product um, because, you know, other chainsaws are heavy. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't replace a regular chainsaw. This has limitations just like any other product. Um, but the thing that we liked about it was it gave us another option to just have something in the buggy go down in the back and cut down the small stuff really quick and not have to drag out the big chainsaw there's times though you're gonna have to drag out the big chainsaw so and that's okay all right guys well thanks for watching if you're interested in this product there's a link down below where you too can get one of these and i think you'll love it uh we really liked it here so definitely a thumbs up for this product have a great day take care